What do you want, asshole? Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. God. My hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. 
There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's... that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. The body is still here. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. The body is still here. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Harry Comment, orchid pollen detected, probably from the flower left on the body. Orchid pollen, something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me.
When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Back to the office. You staying? Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. Very common. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Mary Common, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. You have seen all there is to see.
Ah, uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. A butterfly, a wolf's head. A crab. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts, times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor.
how did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Shana. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. What am I going to do to cheer him up? Poor Sean. He probably got into trouble at school because of me. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! That merry-go-round. I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Should have known he doesn't like strawberry. Don't even know my own son anymore. I'll find something else to do with him. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. Boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try?
did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I want to get back to being the kind of father I used to be. One, please. That's a dollar. Sean looks happy. I wish I could see him like that more often. Thank <laughs> you.